Alright, so, what's up? It's Jet Ski, and I am playing PvZ Altverse. Um, I have another profile, so, <laughs> luckily what's nice about Altverse is that you can make more than one profile. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play Altverse, and we're going to load volume, just to make sure that you can hear me a couple times that I made videos of commentary, and just, for some reason, just didn't work. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna do Move Player's House. Yeah. Hey there, neighbor. Long time no see. A lot of things happened while you were gone. First, I need you to take these four plants and the zombies. I just don't remember how to use them. Oh, believe me, Dave, I do. Back to the basics. Okay, so, obviously... Should, there should be like a column of pea shooters in the back because that's how you play PvZ. You totally don't put some bars all the way in the back unless you have a very good reason to. Like you have to produce X amount of sun or something. Always have like a line of attackers in the back. It doesn't matter what kind of attacker as long as it's an attacker. Um, luckily, potato mine is. It's always been a great early game plant. I mean, with potato mine, what do you expect? Right. Best plant for early game. No surprises there. Yeah, so I hope you like my Garden Warfare 1, uh, Garden Warfare 2 series, not Garden Warfare 1. We'll do that, we'll do that if you want me to. Um, but. Yeah, I, I know it's it looks bad because I don't have any actual means of recording, so I have to I have to take my tablet and prop it up, <laughs> like like facing towards the TV, so I can actually record it because I don't have like a capture card or a PC for that matter. Um, so it's really the best I can do. So please forgive me. Uh, if it looks a little bad, but hopefully my, um, my humor and, you know, my attitude will make up for that. Because, you know, I want there to be a point where you just start watching me or me, you know, and say, oh, look at this guy, he's so cool and he's good at PvZ. No, I want it, I want to be seen as a person, not just a guy that plays PvZ, you know? I got the good sense of character, if you will. Yeah, maybe, maybe one day, but for now, we're just gonna play all three of us. Yeah, so I'm using an actual screen recorder, not like, I'm using an Android device, not, you know, blue stacks. No, this is being played on an actual Android. As I said, I don't have a PC, so this will have to do. You know, maybe one day if I ever get big enough, I'll actually use a capture card. Also, if you're wondering what the noise is in the background, it's awesome. I don't like this cool. So, yeah. Um, but this is a win, so... Kill this fucking head sometime this side of what's say Thursday. You. There we go. So why don't I make you use those four plants? Because I'm crazy. Well, Mr. Boss guy stole all our plants again. And this time I tried to get them back to myself, but I could only find these four. We need to sort this out as soon as possible, but I have something neat to tell you tomorrow. Because we love it when Zomboss steals our plants, don't we? <laughs> uh, of course we do. Remember my, uh, remember my RV? She's got a name now. Yeah, I say hi. Greetings, Mr. Dave. Greetings, Mr. Dave's neighbor. You aren't surprised about the fact that I talk? You must have been with Mr. Dave for a long time then. Talking about surprise, this isn't the surprise I was talking about. So Mr. Dave and I were experimenting with the zombies, and we were able to infect the zombies with the virus. Here, let me grab one for you. It's an essential part of a complete breakfast. Yeah, yeah, play a few tutorial. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know. I know how plants work. 
Now that's crazy, right? Do keep in mind that plant food works on all sorts of plants. Zombies around here seem to carry more plant food than usual. Have fun, neighbor. Alright, well. Uh, may as well just uh, get, the early, get the early game set up easier. We don't really need potato mine. Unless, like, a bucket head comes along or something, but even then, I don't really know if it's necessary, if you will. But when it comes to PvZ, when it comes to the tower defense games, I try and sound as smart as possible. But when it comes to, like, you know, shooters, I, I, I just say whatever comes to mind. Because, I don't know, most people, I like to think, watch the tower defense PvZ games for, you know, strategy and say, oh look at this guy, he, he can kick ass with super command up. I, I mean, obviously, I, yes, but, you know, th there's more to it than that, you know? Uh, so, uh, let's just use another PF, why not? Where's the fun in not doing it? And that is a bucket head, hopefully the potato mine will well, uh, arm in time, probably will. Uh, but while that's going, I guess we'll get more pea shooters set up. Final Johnny. Yeah, so this one's gonna be quick, I suppose. Good, that's how I like my lives. Um, we'll get into the, like, the real need of it later down the line. When we start worrying about, like, you know, Egypt and all the... Just don't even get me started about the extra levels. But for now, you know, we'll, we'll just do the tutorial levels, my tutorial levels, and the first player's house levels. Uh, and then we'll do the first level of Egypt, because I'm not sure how much time I have left. I can only record for so long, especially when I'm on the bus, because, you know, it's like a timer, because it only goes on before you make it to school, obviously. This for oops. There we go. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll work. That should kill them. Yep. Yep. There we go. That that that'll that'll do it. Use this sweet shield. Hate on my arms. Thank you very much. Alright, Player's House 3. <sighs> Coming back to this game is quite satisfying. I'm not satisfying at all. I had to get here. Despite its initial appearance, let's use this for the advantage. Now that, you, now that you don't have low-cost attacking plans like Pea Shooter, it's better to slow the zombies down. I don't mean literally, I mean to stop them, or just ignore them for a while. Yeah, zombies won't rush you if you don't rush them. That's the rules. Potato mines low cost might be proven useful more than any. Every plant is useful. Yes, but some are more useful in different special situations than others. Ooh. Alright, so... I'm thinking we put a column of repeaters in this back column, and then another column of repeaters there. And then we just spam some flowers for the rest of the level. I don't know, I always spam some flowers because, well, I mean, you have, if you have a surplus of sun, you may as well use it for something. Um, and I just, I just use it for sunflower spam because they make good meat shields. Um, because, one, they have a fast recharge, and, I mean, yeah, that's really it, though. They, they have a fast recharge, and they're low cost, so they're just good to place down, if you don't really have anything else to place down. Uh, screw it, let's just put down the first repeater. Uh, let's put the one on there, and then we can start worrying about... Uh, there's, I didn't see that guy there. I need to really pay more attention when it comes to PvZ. I'm tempted to play Ecliss. 
um, because I'm not really bad at Eclipse either. Um, or I could play Reflourish. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll make, I'll make Reflourish the series if, if someone asks. Is <laughs> no, 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 I just don't really have a reason not to, you know? I don't have a reason not to do it. Oh, I thought he was gonna just leave this little while before right past the Johnny. That works. That's where I'm going just a little bit. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Um, I also want to make a series about angry birds. And I make a series about, I mean, like, play every single level in existence that that will always be there, so like, every level from Classic Space Season Star Wars, Star Wars 2, Stella, did I say Rio? No, I didn't. Rio. You know, all of them. Because, honestly, I want to. You know what, it, maybe if I go on long enough, we'll do the levels from like mods as well, like, I know Power Trouble exists, that's a great mod. Uh, City Catastrophe. Um, that's really it. That's really it for me, right? Because, I, as I said, I don't have a PC. So, how am I gonna go about, you know, playing on the, uh, you know, most of the Angry Birds mods, because they're not on PC. Uh, is my game lagging? Is, is it really? Like, it should not be lagging. It's... I guess we'll just keep spamming. Spam repeaters, spam sunflowers. I, I just want this level, this level is very slow, I'm gonna be honest. Just go faster. Like, it's for every, like, 50 words I say a zombie dies. For just a penny a day, you know, I'm joking. Um... I mean, we're almost there. And after that, we'll do... Peter's here. There we go. There are a bunch of games I want to play really, really badly. Um, but none of them will be for the first time because, I mean, I, I just... Um, hello. To every single world um, Does. There we go. That, that'll do it. Thank you very much. Give me my hot sauce. And then... Is that a bottle of hot sauce I'm seeing? Okay, some of that hot sauce I brought to you earlier. I'm gonna try this hot sauce on it. It might be so good that I, wanna, that I might want to travel back in time to eat it again. Aren't you gonna question why the zombies dropped this Easter day? I mean, to be fair though, is that really the main reason why he's gonna go back in time again? Uh, I mean, I'm... This is technically the first time he's doing it because this is an alternate universe, so it's parallel to Vanilla. I don't know. That taco was great. The sauce is kind of stuck in the bottle, though. Anyway, so it's time for the big fight. We only have basic plants, but they also have basic zombies, so it should be fine. Hmm? What was that just now? Oh, uh, voice crack. Let me guess. Uh, I know how this level works. I've played it before. Repeats. Oh, repeater here. And I know they just give you tons and tons of plants. Half of them you can't even like completely use. Like you can't use. Yeah, I need to find some like. Like you can't use some plants outside of this level because th those worlds don't exist yet. So it's kind of like. A work in progress, if you will. Can I have that a little bit? Potato mine is now armed. Great. Uh, I have voice crack. I swear, uh, what is it with me and voice cracks today? Uh, I'll just put orange melon. Citron looks really good, so put that there. I don't really think they'll give us more than like a couple of the same plant. Besides like the peaches and all that. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to get this time to load. But other than that, I don't think they'll give us much. So, the uh, best team is what we have. Uh, I believe Magnature exists, so uh, that's pretty useful, I suppose. Um, So be it. This level is almost done anyway, so... Yeah. yeah Jurassic Marsh, though, like... It's not... It's not even like a fully fledged world in this game yet. And yet they changed the sprites for... Primal P's PF? Why? Oh look, we got the Egypt key. Okay. I don't know what happened, but that was awesome. The zombies. They're coming from portals, huh? Does that mean time travel? Good thing I just made a time machine. And I already named her. Affirmative, that's me. Oh, and I noticed there's a note in the hot sauce bottle. May I have a look? That's why it's so hard to pull the sauce. Let's read the note. Oh, it's a note from Dr. Zomboss. It says... Dear homeowner, while you were gone, I've come up with my ultimate plan. If I can't take over the world now, why don't I do it in different time eras? So, it, so I did exactly that. That, and taking all your puny, pathetic plans to my various timely army in addition. All these actions should warrant me the victory. This letter is merely for you to surrender right where you stand. Sincerely, Dr. Edgar Zombos. P.S. I repeat, it was just a test subject. I'm taking it back. <laughs> well, we figured all that out. Now that's the Mr. Boss guy I know. It's alright, it's just gonna be the same and end the same. Interestingly, a zombie dropped this golden key. It appear, it seems to be what Dr. Zombos used to discover timelines. That also means we can find all the other keys and fix each and every time here. Neato. Let's go, three time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to ancient Egypt. Whoa! Like we've never done this before, holy shit. Excuse my language. I was in ancient Egypt, land the mummy. Oh, this is my neighbor's house? No user, Dave. They don't have a feral bloodline. Oh. Some boss is simply taking a random place in the time era. The first one just so happens to be in ancient Egypt. Oh, come on, they have a grave thing, like in their front yard. These work differently. You'll see how very soon. Fine, we'll do this level, and then that'll be it. Dust trails. Wow. Yeah, so this level shouldn't really take that long. It's not a two-flagger like the, the the past like two levels. So this one should be nice and quick. That's how I like my levels. Uh, I don't really like them dragging on for that long, especially because you know when you lose, it'll just be like. I gotta do this shit all over again, and it's just really, really annoying and tedious, and it's, there's just no need for it, so. Yeah, um, unfortunately, we're almost at my school, so. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, this will definitely be the last level. And let's just speedrun this, because 
I don't have all the time in the world. I'm a very busy guy. That's, that's a lie. Half the time I'm sitting on my ass playing Plants vs. Zombies or Angry Birds. Like, I need help. Like, why do... It's like an addiction when it comes to like, games like Angry Birds. Like, you know. But, you know, it's better than liking... I don't know. Like, games like Genshin Impact or something. No, she's not three. You see, she's actually 3,000. Like, bro, shut up. Go outside. Touch some grass. She looks three, and therefore she's three. Uh, anyway, um, I prefer, like, games like PBZ and Angry Birds over, like, hyper-realistic games, like, uh, not realistic, hyper-casual games. Like, Candy Crush, you have, you know, Candy Crush, you got Toy Blast, you got, like, like all that shit. There's no need to play those games, if, if you ask me. Oh, don't even get the start of an Angry Birds Dream Blast. Um, but I prefer playing games that it feels like it's your fault, you know? Like, PvZ, if you lose, it's your fault. Uh, apart from bad level design. Angry Birds, if you lose, it's definitely your fault. Because that game, and because the level is definitely beatable. Unless it's like, you know, like a Kaizo mod, which I don't think those levels will be tested out there. Just like, you know, let's make these levels harder and then we'll just pump them out and not even try it. Because that's how those modders do things, I suppose. Um, eh, whatever. Uh, this level is basically one. And with that, we've reached the end. We've got Cabin Fault. And that's reached the end of the first episode of PVC Altverse. So. Oh, perfect timing, too. Um, let's not go to the next level, please. I don't want to go to the next level. Oh, no. We'll do that next time. But for now, uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of PVZ2 Altverse. If you did enjoy, let me know. And I will be more than glad to make a part two. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.